home, a place to kick back, relax, and I'm afraid pollute. The Department of Energy says that buildings of all kinds produce almost one third of our greenhouse gas emissions and they use up more than a third of all of our energy. Which means that if you give your home an insulation upgrade, you get a double bonus. You slash your utility bills and you cut back on your greenhouse gas emissions. This is true no matter what kind of climate you live in, hot or cold. That's because insulation is all about slowing down something called heat transfer. Heat transfer is a measure of how fast the heat leaves your house or comes into it, either one. Think of it this way. This thermos holds iced tea and this thermos holds hot tea. Same exact thermoses, but very different internal temperatures. Whether it's hot or cold, the insulation acts to slow down the heat transfer. So when you think about insulating your house, you almost need to think of it like you're wrapping the entire building in plastic wrap. And here's a happy coincidence. Some of the best insulating material on the market is environmentally friendly. This installer is applying something called cellulose into this house. Cellulose is actually just recycled cardboard and newspaper treated with a fire retardant. Also, cellulose is as good, if not better, than traditional glass fiber insulation at retaining heat, and it costs the same. There are other renewable materials being used to make insulation, like denim. It costs about the same as cellulose, and it's the exact same stuff that your blue jeans are made out of. There's also a foam that's made out of soybeans. Granted, it costs twice as much as cellulose. The Department of Energy says that properly insulating your home, whether it's in the chilly north or in the hot south, will cut your utility bills by roughly the same, an average of 20%. How cool is that? 